hey beautiful souls welcome back to my channel and today i'm here with a pre-card reading on their current thoughts feelings and intentions towards you i know it's been a long time since i last uploaded so here i am again with another reading and if you're new here hi i'm divine and i do love readings as well as readings related to your spiritual journey as well as your financial journey and i have another channel for that actually it's white lily insight the link is available in the description box or in the comment section so don't forget to subscribe and give it a like if any of these uh, readings resonate with you all right so yeah and if you are interested in a personal reading getting a personal reading from me you can message me on my email or you can also reach out to me on instagram both my email id and instagram id are available in the description box or in the comment section so don't be shy reach out and we'll have a convo where we'll discuss about you know the prices and the questions you wish to get a reading about so yeah now let's get back to today's reading for today's reading we have three piles for the first pile, we have the tourmaline. For the second pile, we have the green aventurine. And finally, for the third pile, we have the rose quartz. Okay, so I need you guys to focus on each crystal's energy and feel whichever crystal calls out to you the most. Pick that crystal. Some of you guys might be drawn to more than one crystal and it's okay, it's completely fine. You can watch both piles, okay, to get more messages out of the readings and see whichever message resonates with you the most, okay, and keep that and yeah, like that's all i'll see you guys in the readings the timestamps are available in the description box or in the comment section so definitely go and check that out hey pile one those of you who chose the tourmaline this is your reading so let's get into it let's see a person's current thoughts feelings and energies towards you wow okay we have some passionate energy coming in at the start here with the six of wands from the start like wow okay your person is seems to be con really confident for you know the future for this connection because they feel secure they feel like you guys are just going at it and there's no stopping you guys they'll go through every obstacle that is in the way and they'll win this they'll win the world okay like that's their energy right now towards this connection like maybe there might there might have been some complications in the past and now that they've all been cleared out or some of them have been cleared out okay they are very like high in their spirits because of that clearance because of that assortment of the energies of the con like of the complications okay so yeah that's like a good card okay like that's a very positive energy here because this person is acknowledging the connection they're not denying it they're not running away from it they are accepting it as the as their reality and making a move towards it like without any like they're not like they're not trying to hit it on the bush they're being direct here okay so they're intending to maybe reach out to you with a proposal or with you know their feelings with their thoughts in general this person maybe might have done so already and you guys are just wondering okay if this person actually feels the same way about me is this mutual is this thing mutual because i see that many of you guys who are watching this video okay pile one you guys are very much attracted to your person the way your person is attracted to you Okay, so I don't know what, what problems or what issues you guys need to resolve, but they're getting resolved by their own, like, it's all getting resolved by the universe, okay? Like, you don't need to worry about it because, you know, this connection is kind of blessed by, you know, 
by the angels, by your spirit guides, okay, yeah. And I see that maybe you guys, in the past, you guys put in a lot of effort in this connection and this person was just taking and taking and taking, they were not giving out anything, they were not reciprocating any of the energies and now this person is finally looking at it, analyzing it and recognizing the importance you have in their life. And which is why they are at this conclusion here that they need to make this work. Okay, that's all I gotta say. They need to make this work at all costs because you are someone that's rare, one in a million, I would say one in a billion from a person's perspective. But yeah, this person just can't take it anymore. They want you, they're very passionate about you. They need you in their life as a permanent fixture because you are a gift. You're a gift from the universe. And again, yeah, this person, this person, I'm seeing this person uh, coming forward with, you know, with some gifts, you know, offering you something special, I guess, to make it up to you, to just sort things out between you guys. If there are any, uh, there, there were any miscommunications, this person wants to sort them out. Okay, so let's get some more cards to see. What else your person feels, thinks, and tends to do about this connection about you? So, positive energy so far. Wow, okay. And we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I see that. Now I see what's going on here, you guys. Now I understand why this person was just, you know, really distant or cold towards the connection. It's because... Maybe people around them weren't supporting the connection or it's just that it was their own way of thinking like that this was never going to work. They were negative about this connection. They they just, I don't know, they overthink a lot. Your person overthinks. So they just came to a conclusion, okay, that in the past, okay, they had different they had different perspectives in the past but now it's completely different. Now this person is ready to start the chase i mean they're, they're already chasing you okay they're already making plans on how to make this work how to like you know be completely clear have clarity in the connection and get in a relationship with you if you guys are single okay if you guys are not a thing yet this person wants to have a relationship with you a long-lasting relationship and have it all with you basically because this time apart okay the guys i mean sorry the part the time that you guys had apart made them realize that this emptiness, okay, like there's emptiness in their life without you. They feel empty without you. That's the point that I'm getting at. They've been watching you closely, looking at every single detail about you, trying to understand you at a deeper level, okay, trying to make, uh, trying to stay in control because they couldn't help but fall for you as well like they felt the same way but they were suppressing those feelings they were denying you know denying their feelings they were not ready to see what was what they were being called to what they were being pushed towards by the universe okay like you are a gift you were you are definitely a gift to your person and this person has gone through a lot of shit. i would say this person has been through some really negative experiences negative relationships that have made them so like so hard to get through okay so like cold so like maybe negative okay like having negative perspectives and all that it's because it's because of that you know because of what they've been through the wounds, okay, their wounds. And they're healing their wounds, okay, they're healing their wounds. You are healing their wounds, I would say. Maybe you work with this person or this person wants to work with you. This person is trying to find new ways to be closer to you and like physically and emotionally. They don't want to lose you, that's for sure. They don't want to lose you. They're ready to go at this journey alone without any support. Maybe, you know, there was a third party situation for some of you guys, like this person uh, didn't have the support of their friends or family members 
or maybe yeah i'm getting that from most of you guys that you know maybe friends or family could would have been you know a situation here but your person it doesn't care about that your person just wants to do what they want to do and it I, this might be this they know that they came to this realization at you know like really late i would say this is not this, this was like they should have really realized it sooner i would say sooner but now that they've realized it now that they've embraced this connection they don't want to let it go they don't want to let it go they don't they don't want to escape i mean they don't want to like run away from it like they were running away from it in the past okay damn your person just is going through a lot i would say okay maybe you guys okay uh okay this is just for some of you guys you guys were in like a situation like friends with benefits sort of a situation or you guys are in a situation ship right now with your person and you're finding you're getting a hard time okay this person was giving you a hard time no this person just doesn't want to hold back anymore they want to fully accept and fearlessly make a move towards you that's what they intend to do that's what they intend to do to make it official to make it known to everyone that you're off the market and you're theirs and, and theirs only okay this person gets mad jealous when they see you with someone else mad jealous okay i'm getting those vibes too okay with the page of uh, swords here they've been checking out your social media you know like watching your stories if you're on instagram if they follow you on instagram or maybe looking at you know you guys wait a second like your photos of you guys old photos that you guys might have together the memories you know they just can't stop thinking about you they've been thinking about you a lot for the past few days okay so now let's get some advice for you to end this reading Advice for pile one. Okay, at times we must, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Okay, so I see that this person. This person just, like I just said, they were not surrendering to the connection, okay? They were just trying too hard to run away to, like, just ignore, ignore the connection, I would say, ignore their feelings. But now this person is just ready to surrender. And I see that this is advice for you too, Pile One, that you should surrender, not think too hard about this, focus on your own, like, journey because that's also important you are your first priority always remember that don't depend on anyone for your happiness just a reminder there and yeah i guess this is all that i have for you guys today i hope this resonated and i hope you enjoyed this reading if this didn't resonate it's completely fine you can check out the other piles in this reading or check out more videos on my channel and i'll see you guys soon take care you guys bye bye have a good day and be safe hey pile one sorry two i don't know why i said one maybe some of you guys might be drawn to pile one as well but yeah pile two those of you guys who chose the green adventure rain this is your reading so let's get into it quickly we have the eight of cups as your overall energy today okay so let's see eight of energy sorry eight of cups damn I see that some of you guys are moving on from this connection and you're just wondering what this person still feels, thinks, and intends to do. Are they still into you? Are they still ready to make a move? Are they still ready to put in some effort to show how much they care? But let me tell you, this, this person is trying to move on from this connection. Or maybe this could also mean that there is this long distance between you guys okay distance is a barrier in your connection 
So I can see changes taking place, changes, okay? So maybe some of you, this is like an indication for some of you guys that you might be moving to a new city, maybe even a new country for some of you guys. Okay, just take whatever resonates in the situation. But anyways, So this is like a card, I, I feel like this is a card more about accepting what has happened and moving on, learning from it. And it's knowing that it's, a, it's the right time to make a move away from the connection, away from this union, I would say. Yeah. Let me get some more cards because I'm not getting too many energies from the air scraps. Ten of Pentacles, okay, well, unexpected. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, like I just said. We have Justice and the Wheel of Fortune. At the bottom of the deck, we have Three of Wands. Okay, so this is a long distance connection for many of you guys here. Distance is a barrier, and this person is, you know, thinking about how you guys are, you know, they, they've done some deep thinking about how you guys could, you know, close this distance like you know just be closer to each other physically this person has been thinking about that a lot okay just you know seeing you in person and all that so definitely like this person pictured you guys as you know being their family starting a family together and having it all with you, I would say, with the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you were in a relationship with this person and you guys just broke up. Or maybe this person is thinking about breaking up or something. Like, they don't want to do you wrong. They don't want to, like, they don't want to hurt you anymore. They feel like they're hurting you. They have this guilt, this regret in their heart. That they could never be enough for you. They could never meet up with your expectations and they are not lucky for you that's what they think okay that's how they feel and they're just surrendering like they're done like they're just surrendering to the connection they're like okay whatever is gonna turn out to be i'll accept that i don't i'm not gonna push it forward i'm not gonna maybe because i don't know like I don't know why this happened, okay, like this is such a beautiful connection, I would say, like both of you guys had feelings, you still have feelings, okay, but there's something that's in the way, maybe this distance, okay, this distance is between you guys, maybe this emotional distance, like you can't, you can't understand each other, okay, like maybe that could be an issue, so your person, maybe this person tried to sort it out, but they made things worse, Anyways, so just take whatever resonates in your connection. But anyway, this person with the page of wands, okay, like I see that there's still there's still hope here. Okay, this person still has hope that this might work out, that this there's still this tiny bit of hope that this connection might turn out to have a different outcome, a positive outcome, not of not like you guys just giving up on each other right because they see you as their everything i would say with the ten of pentacles they thought of marriage with you okay they've thought of it they've lived like they've not lived i mean they've dreamt of it okay and they feel like they've, they've been dishonest with you in some ways dishonest they weren't speaking their truth they weren't being fair to you they weren't being fair to you they didn't know like they didn't calculate what was going to happen in the future and now that they're at this point where they have to make this decision they're backing out maybe they're scared maybe they're afraid okay they're just there's this like rush of emotions here okay like there's a lot that your person is feeling right now. They feel guilt, regret. They feel happy. I don't know what is going on with your person. Like, at one point they want this. At one point they don't want this connection. 
okay for the greater good for the greater good you know they're just trying to like do this for the greater good not not be with you for the greater good because it's the best for you guys to not be together that's what a person feels and they are aware that if they try to make this work if they give this connection another chance or if you give this connection another chance things are gonna go the same way they were going like you guys would still because you guys are like in a cycle that's what a person thinks that's what a person sees that you guys are stuck in a cycle and you guys can't escape that you can't you guys can't escape that cycle that way of carrying out the relationship carrying the burden of the relationship or the connection whatever you guys were involved in okay so this person is trying to be like this person is trying to decide what they want they're trying to look at them like they're looking at this at, at themselves in the mirror and asking themselves what they want what they need and if this is actually you know if this that they won't hurt you and all that okay it's like they're trying to understand what they want because they're confused themselves this person is, is very confused this person is very confused let me tell you that okay they're confused and because they're confused things are going downhill you don't know what this person is thinking and it's just very hard to read this person like seriously i'm gonna say that here it's very hard to read your person okay pile two wow i'm amazed at your person's energies and this connection has been ma making them feel challenged and and stuck like they're stuck okay this is the energy here exactly that's what I was looking for stuck okay like you guys it seems as you guys are stuck you know you guys are stuck in this cycle like there's no escaping it there's no way out and they know that if they continue like continue investing in the connection things are gonna turn out to be the same way you guys will be at square one again and they don't want that they want to take this forward they don't want to wait anymore they don't want to stop okay at one look there are two decisions okay there are two they are the fork of the road okay at one point okay they're ready to go forward in full speed like you know have it all with you have a healthy connection healthy relationship with you and at one point they're ready to drop it all for your happiness for your future okay maybe career is you know in the way maybe it's because of their job or your job okay or maybe your business or their business okay that it's just really hard or maybe income financial problems okay that could also be something that this person needs to clear out needs to take care of and they're just like letting go they're leaving leaving it all to the universe if it's fated if it's meant to happen it's gonna happen that's your person's mindset right now okay because they're just they they just can't think anymore about this they're just like done like i'm getting this energy that they're just tired exhausted because they've had these sleepless nights they've had sleepless nights finding their their feelings finding acceptance okay acceptance for this connection so let's get a message for you guys sorry uh advice for you guys to end this reading today's reading this was a lot to take in for me as well this person i hope this person feels better and i hope you guys sort things out or you guys are happy on your own just take care all right you guys well okay we have one card <clears throat> so i see here that maybe you guys also feel the same way like you're trapped and there's no way out but look we have freedom 
there's there's nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be okay so that's literally what i was talking about that the path is clear you're ready to move out move on okay completely up to you and up to this person do what your heart calls you to do remember that all right pal two and that's all that i have for you guys today i hope this resonated and i hope you enjoyed this reading if this didn't resonate you're free to check out the other piles in this reading or check out more videos on my channel i'll see you guys soon take care you guys bye, -bye. have a good day and be safe i love you guys so much hey pile three those of you who chose the rose quartz this is your reading so let's get into it let's see we have the four of swords as your overall energy today so okay I see that this person is in a mood of, I would say like, hmm, like this person is taking some time to think about the connection or taking some time to themselves to think about their own journey, their own like goals, endeavors that they need to pursue because there's a lot going on in their life and they just, they've just like taken a step back to rest to heal and this might also mean that you guys are in a no contact situation with your person things just it's like all cold and windy like we don't know what's going on and it's like a standstill in your connection i don't know why i said windy just ignore that but anyway <clears throat> so let's see yeah like time out this person is literally retreating from the connection they are taking some time away from their usual responsibilities from this connection taking time off work maybe okay like i just said it's like everything in their life okay is on like temporary hold maybe this could also mean this is a long distance connection okay there's distance between you guys Okay, and they wish to like take a break maybe from your relationship if you guys are in a relationship, if you guys are not in a relationship. This person is like just taking some time off from you know ev everything in their life because they've been through a lot. I don't know what this person was dealing with, but it has drained their energy completely and they're just energizing themselves up while taking some time alone and just practicing self-love and all that you're know, taking care of themselves pampering themselves right now so i'm gonna get some more cast to see what this four of swords mean but i just give you an overview of what you can expect in the reading okay in the next few minutes and if this if this doesn't resonate you can check out the other piles Money. Okay, fine, we have some cards here. We have the lovers. Okay, wow. This, these are some contradicting energies here with the four of swords. And we have the two of pentacles. We have, we have the moon. We have the king of swords. And we have the six of cups. Okay, I'll keep the six of cups here. And... We have two more cards. Okay, we have so many cards for you, pile three. Wow. We have the five of wands, the five of pentacles, the two of pentacles, the moon, the king of swords, and the lovers. Okay. Let's get into it. <clears throat> okay. Now, with the two of pentacles, your person is well known for being a playboy or playgirl, having a playful personality, flirtatious personality with almost everyone. And it's really hard to figure out what this person's thinking, what this person's expecting and what they're intending. It's hard to read this person. And that's how they've wanted to establish their image, their first impression on anyone, basically. It's not just you that's struggling with, you know, figuring out what this person feels for you. There are many other people, I would say. There are many other people out there who feel the same way you're not alone okay this is a little harsh but you need to know the truth okay so yeah now with the moon here the future 
okay the future this talks about the future here about their intuition okay with the moon this person is pretty much confused about moving forward with you because they have other options as well i would say they have many other options many other options okay and this person just doesn't want to make this decision like they're pushing like maybe you put this person in a position where they had to make a certain decision maybe you know you guys came out with your true feelings it was all and all really unexpected and your person just couldn't take that in and maybe they might have said something to offend you or it could also be that this person rejected you it was all because of the spur and like spur of the moment they didn't actually mean it because i can see that you do have a significance in their life you do have this special place okay but this person still okay this person still doesn't consider consider you as their number one choice so i would say that you move on from this person and not look back because this person doesn't deserve you they don't deserve you they don't like they are just ignoring the fact that the fact that you know that you're a great person and they could actually have it all with you you have this you you're so beautiful you're so handsome you have all the qualities that a person should have and in, and besides that they i mean even after that they just can't they can't like control their feelings okay they can't control their emotions their actions and that's the reason why i'm asking you guys to move forward this person is not ready to take responsibility this person is not ready to jump into something serious you'll get heartbroken okay the reason why they're ghosting you right now i see that they're ghosting you okay i see that they're ghosting you or they're intending to ghost you even though they don't want to ghost you okay like they're into minds they don't know what they want they're very confused and i hate such energies i'm i'm not going to be like i'm going to be honest with you guys okay i i just hate such energies okay hot and cold energies it's very frustrating to deal with such personalities with such people in in our lives it's just and i don't want you guys to you know stress over someone who doesn't give you the same amount of energy that you're giving out bro like you deserve more than this you deserve better than this this person is just like i see that you guys are really good friends and there is a possibility of you guys ending up as a couple as in a relationship i see that many of you guys watching this are not in a relationship but anyway let me just tell you that this person is very playful and you might end up getting heartbroken you might get ending like sorry you might get heartbroken by this person i'm sorry i mean i'm just you know because of these energies oh my god just mind me guys so again with the six of cups i'm going to tell you what this person actually feels okay they feel like they've known you from a long time like whenever they're with you they just can't ignore that feeling they can't ignore that vibe that you guys share no one else can match that energy they've never met someone who've made them feel like this but they still okay but they still go out and you know hit on other people yeah they hit on other people they're very playful they're childish okay they're very childish so it's better that you move on okay and focus on yourself and find someone who would treat you right okay who would actually be there for you 24/7 okay who's ready to love you as you are you don't have to change yourself because this person has made you think and feel less about yourself and, and i'm actually like and I'm, i'm actually furious about this okay seriously you guys this is better now this person has made it clear that maybe 
you guys could never be together there's no future but you guys have had arguments that maybe you could try this out and we you could you guys could make it work but this person is not ready to understand that they're they're just ignoring it they're ignoring it so it's better that you ignore them back as well okay they don't deserve you remember that this is like seriously karmic this is karmic i would say this is a karmic connection but if you guys still invest in this connection i'm done i mean seriously like you, you'll just hurt yourself even more this person will hurt you more pile three seriously it's for your own good it's for your own Yeah, it's for your own good, pile three. Look out for yourself. So let's get some advice for you guys to end this reading. Just take whatever resonates, okay? I was already getting these very strong energies from the start, which is why I was I was continuously talking about checking out the other piles because those of you guys who have a happy relationship with your person, I don't think this is I never, like, seriously, I don't think this is your part. And it's already over, so. We have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Again, this is, like, something that I was, uh, I was feeling, okay, here, that there is this imbalance of energies of efforts maybe you're the one who's pushing the connection forward who's giving it your all and this person is just taking like not taking advantage i mean they're just you know receiving the energies they're not giving anything out back they're not reciprocating those energies and it's hurting you on a deep level so it's better if you just move on and balance your life out look out for yourselves okay and take care of yourself because that's the most important thing isn't it so yeah i guess this is all that i have for you guys today i hope this resonates i hope you enjoyed this reading and if this didn't resonate you're free to check out the other files in this reading or check out more videos on my channel i'll see you guys soon take care you guys bye have a good day and be safe